So you saw how we post to a forum. Well, there's other things we can do. In this case, you see that I posted. It was my first poem, my first forum post. I can click on it and I can see what I wrote and it's got my text. Notice it, it slims it down because I didn't need all that space. Um, since I posted it in the last 30 minutes and that's how this server is set up, I can edit it actually and say, oops, I meant to do something else. Um, but after a certain amount of time, which it'll tell you, you cannot edit it for obvious reasons because you can't change what you've done after a certain amount of time. And we'll go back and I could reply to my own post, say, hey, that's a sloppy job of editing. And you can reply to anyone else's post as well, depending on how the forum's set up. So now again, we post that. So now you can see that there are two posts. However, when I go out, you notice earlier in the navigation section, we talked about this breadcrumb trail. So it starts out with the server, then this is the course, and this is the area of this course we're in. We're in the forums area. And if I click on that, I see all of the forums that happen to be in this course. And notice that the breadcrumb trail changes to show we're just in forums. Let me go back to where we were a minute ago. Then I'm in the try out the editor forum, and I'm in this particular forum thread. And a thread is these, this particular conversation. So if I wanna go back to this forum itself, I click again on the breadcrumb trail there, and now I'm in this forum, and you see that there is one reply, and I actually replied to myself, but you can see the dates of the reply, you can see who started the post, and when you have an active discussion forum, you'll get a lot, and depending on how many students are in the class, you'll get a lot of different people here. And hopefully your instructor will have a good discussion forum for talking about the class, and you can, especially with online classes, you can have a lively community here. So I encourage you to encourage your instructors and, and also to post there. Um, but check on your instructor guidelines on how he or she would like you to uh, treat forums. So I'll go back to the main page and we can see a couple other forums. And it's worth noting that the for your instructor has different forum settings. So you may have a news and announcements forum like this one I have in the bottom section and I'll jump there. Bottom section in this course is number four. There's this news and announcements, and you cannot actually reply here, or you cannot post here because this is only for your instructor. So that's just a place for your instructor to post things. There are other um, forums where you can only post, you can post, but you can't read other posts until your post has been submitted. So there are lots of different choices, and your instructor has the option of making them graded or not graded, or grading them by how many times you posted, or the quality of the post. So there are lots of different choices there. But uh, each instructor will set up each course differently, but explore and be sure to read the instructions and look at the class policies. And forums are a pretty big deal in online courses, and you see even just this course, if I go in to the forums, you see how many there are. Because forums are a great way to do homework, but also to share with your colleagues. Some instructors don't use them very much at all. And it's nice when an instructor adds this one, the social forum, or we'd call the coffee shop, because you can go in there and talk about things that are maybe not relevant to the class. So a lot of instructors will include that as well. You have a birthday, it's snowing outside, you want to know how to make snow ice cream, you can do it there. So forums are great, great way to interact with your, your classmates. And note also that when you post to a forum, uh, it makes a record of it. So if I go to my profile, I can click on forum posts, and it shows the posts I made. And then I can jump to that post when I s it says see this post in context or show parent it says show parent because that was a reply so I can click on it and it takes me to that thread so it's a great way to see what you posted recently and even what other people posted recently and then you can reply there and because it was in the last 30 minutes I could also delete this after 30 minutes it locks it down so get used to forms uh, just I'm sure after just a couple you'll have no problem using them for everything in the class.